As part of NASA Kennedy Space Center's first Innovation Expo, aquatic biologists with InnoMedic Health applications took employees on a boat tour of the Merritt Island National Wildlife Refuge, an expansive piece of Florida paradise that has been protected from commercial and residential development for the past five decades because of spaceflight operations at Kennedy and Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. The island's nooks and crannies have become a sanctuary for more than 1,500 species of plants and animals. From more of a regional standpoint, we have over 70% of the wetlands. We have one of the largest expanses of seagrass beds in the area. And this is important to other animals outside the KSC gates, basically, because of these are high quality habitats. Biologists are able to track the movements and survival rates of sport fish sharks, and protected sea turtles with the Florida Atlantic Coast Telemetry Array. The strategically placed constellation of sensors tracks tagged animals as they move through Kennedy and the rest of the Indian River Lagoon, sending data back to various government agencies and universities. They've even detected other researchers' animals from as far north as Connecticut and New York. The, the technology is, is sort of expensive, and so by teaming up with some of these other, other groups, we're able to, to only provide uh, a fairly small percentage of the infrastructure, but we're able to answer some, some pretty important uh, questions. The reasons for protecting the area are threefold, according to biologists. First, Federal mandates are in place protecting the wetlands and surrounding lagoonal waters, as well as several threatened or endangered species of animals. Second, through stewardship, the space agency is working diligently to execute its mission without compromising our planet's resources. And third, there is a substantial role that the ecological health of Kennedy's wildlands and the refuge play in our economy. The economic value of the Indian River Lagoon was estimated like $3.7 billion with a B every year. Uh, fisheries alone is worth $330 million a year to the region in terms of benefit. Uh, that's got to be hundreds of jobs, directly or indirectly. And by preserving this the habitat and the wildlife in a, in a fairly healthy state, we, we preserve that, that economic uh, benefit as well.